too. They don't teach, maybe, uh, some colleges now are starting to teach that a little bit in B school. But a mentor is very, very important. And um, I had a mentor, and we just mentioned his name, Gene Glick. And I'll tell you something I learned from Gene, and you can decide whether it's important to you. Man, it has been extraordinary for me. And that's the Glick administrative system. So when I was running uh, cable TV operations and radio stations and bank and everything else, I had lots and lots of employees. Um, we don't own the cable TV and the radio stations anymore, so I don't have as many employees as I used to have. But I had lots and lots of employees. And people thought, man, that Mickey is a genius. He never forgets anything. Um, he, he, uh, it's just an extraordinary memory, etc. But none of it was true. Gene Glick, his system is this. And I learned it at these Monday night meetings I was telling you about. Every time he had a, a letter, now you probably don't know what letters are, because you, <laughs> you just deal with email and text and all that stuff. But there used to be a thing called a letter that came in the mail and it had a stamp on it. So I know you don't know what that is. It's, it's like a phonograph. You probably don't know what a phonograph is. Either. But um, every time he got a letter, had a meeting, had a telephone call, he said, uh, follow that up in, say, two weeks, one month, five days. So if I said, if you were an employee of mine, an employee of mine, and I said to you, I need your report on this matter by Monday, say a week from Monday, I would say, after you and I were done, I'd say, follow up for a week from Monday. Did I get that report I was asking for? Now, all the follow-ups, this is pre-computer, but we do it computerized now. But in those days, under Gene Glick, all the follow-ups went in a box. My assistant, every morning, emptied the box for that date, put the follow-ups on my desk. So I would have copies of letters, I would have uh, three by five cards, I would have notes of any kind, and at, at the top would be follow up and a date. And that date would all be there. And in the morning, I come to the office and I go through my follow ups. And I maybe text you now and I'd say, hey, where's that report you promised me today? And you would say, Why, that son of a gun! Doesn't he have anything better to do than follow up on me exactly when I'm <laughs> supposed to get that report? How is he? It's uncanny. But that's the Gene Glick administrative system. You've got to be true to it. And every single time you have a, a conversation or a letter or an email or uh, whatever it is, you put a follow up on that and then you, you follow up exactly on the date you wanted to, to know your information or wanted to hold somebody accountable. And he was my mentor. I'm privileged to be a mentor to, on, a, on a number of occasions. And um, there's a misnomer about mentor, and that's this. People say, well, he doesn't need a mentor. But um, it's for people who are just getting started. And I, people who just got their broker's license last week, now what do I do? Maybe I need a mentor, but he doesn't. Well, that's wrong. We don't call these kinds of things, mentors, where I am. We call them consultants. We call them members of the board of directors, recruited for a specific reason. Uh, we call them accountants and lawyers. We call them um, all kinds of business advisors. They're really mentors, aren't they? Many for a specific purpose. Uh, maybe not for a general purpose, but um, we're still using mentors in every aspect of what we do. And the best thing you can do as you become more and more successful is be a mentor to somebody else. Great question.